These security guards like to give orders but can't seem to answer a simple question. You need to be wearing a mask in this uh, courthouse. If you do not wear a mask, we have to ask you to leave. It is a judicial order for, to wear a mask in the building. So he can be arrested? This wasn't a crazy audit by far, and my footage pretty much followed DMAs, so I'm just gonna show some of the highlights of what I got from this audit. To see the full encounter, go check out Denver Metro Audit's version of the video. I'll leave a link in the description. Just looking around. Uh, yeah, do you have any business with the courts? Yes. Okay, uh, what's the business thing about the courts? Well, I mean, do I have to tell you? No, I'm just to help you out to make sure you're in the right place. Oh, no. oh we're good. Okay, we'll figure it out. All right? Hey, guys? Yeah. Can I have you guys wear masks while you're in the building? Is there a, um, is there a law stating I have to? Uh, no, but the rule in this courthouse is that you need to be wearing a mask. <laughs> oh. So that's a rule, though. It's not a law, right? It's, you need to be wearing a mask in this uh, courthouse, or I have to take you out. Sorry. Well, you can't trespass on public property unless I uh, commit a crime. So if that's not a crime, then you can't trespass on Look, I can get my superior up here and yeah, explain it. I suggest you do that. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to have you guys come around too, right? No, thank you. He's explaining to them that we're not wearing a mask. And he said it's his policy, right? Is that what he said? Yeah. Policy. There are, he said it's a rule. A rule is not a law. Keith, we just here for a moment, though. Why? The bailiff was talking about to, to the uh, about uh, the rule. Court manager, and we're getting this whole mask thing sorted out. All right. So if you guys could just wait here, that'd be great. Looks pretty dark down here, man. <laughs> yeah, the court. They don't have the court today. Yeah. Oh, no, we're just going to check this area out. Is this, like, court for, like, just, like, traffic tickets and stuff like that? Any sort of municipal charges. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. It is a court order to be wearing a mask, a judicial order. So, unless you are here for any court business, and since it's being held via Zoom, uh, if you do not wear a mask, we have to ask you to leave. It is a judicial order for, to wear a mask in the building. So he can be arrested? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Can we be arrested as a question? I can offer you the judicial order. Because this is no, no, no. everything no, I'm asking, in here. I'm asking a very specific question. It's yes or no. Are, are we going to be arrested if we don't wear a mask? Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, I'll just check you. Alright, I'll return to you guys. You guys recording for a site or a blog or something? So, I mean, I asked that guy if we'd be arrested, and then he just completely, he didn't even answer my question, he just walked away. Oh, no, I know. Mean, why couldn't he just say, honestly, why can't he say, hey, we're going to go get the answer or something, and just walk away from me and yeah, not know. even give, me, give me his name? I mean, uh, totally he's gonna be, if he's acting like he's someone in authority, he needs to identify himself, right? Okay. I don't think they know what to do. <laughs> they know what they're doing. They're confused. Sir, can you identify yourself here? If you're giving a lawful order, sir, you have to identify yourself as some type of authority that I have to, to listen to, right? Sir, identify yourself. You're giving me more orders. I Is that in your policy to identify yourself? Your name. Uh -huh. So, I mean, did you learn that we don't have to wear a mask in here? It's just a policy, not a law? Uh, it is a judicial order for this building. It's a little bit different than the city areas. But, I mean, we don't have to, though, right? Like, we can't be arrested or have anything, a ticket or anything for not wearing one, and you can't kick us out for not wearing a mask. Is that correct? A really easy question. Can we be arrested for not wearing a mask right now? Not arrested, but okay. uh, for the judicial order, it is a little well, bit What's the penalty if it's against... Yeah, we're trying to find that out. You're giving us a vague answer. What would happen to us? I mean, we're obviously not wearing a mask. It seems like nothing's going to happen. So if you're refusing to answer my question, it's because his pride and he goes in the way. He knows there's nothing they can do. It's not a law. It's a policy. Your policies are for the employees. We don't work here. So you can't enforce your policy on us. This is public property. Your partner upstairs said that he was going to kick us out of here. You can't kick us out of public property unless we commit a crime. We haven't committed a crime. Not wearing a mask is not a crime. Okay? 
So the next time someone comes in here, they don't want to wear a mask, don't threaten them to kick them out of the building. That's unlawful, you can't do that. And identify, just be respectful, man. And, and we're about to leave shortly, but you know, I just want to let you know that, you know, when, if you're going to give an order or a, a directive to a citizen, you need to identify yourself as somebody that is capable of giving an order, right? So when somebody asks for your name, you need to identify. That's your policy. Hopefully, uh, you know, you'll learn something today to not try to give unlawful directives to citizens, okay? His prize of ego is in the way. It's why he won't answer the question that we can't be arrested. All right, then. I mean, thank you. I, I want to thank you, first of all, for your professionalism. Uh, you were, I mean, obviously, hopefully you learned something today, today, too, though, that, you know, obviously we don't have to wear masks in here. It's not a law. So uh, uh, nothing was done to us from not wearing a mask. Um, that other gentleman was pretty unprofessional. He tried to act like he was professional, but down there he wouldn't answer yes or no questions, and he refused to identify. So we're going to be filing a complaint against him. Uh, but I would like to add you into the, the, the complaint, but not as a complaint, just as as a phrase for at least uh, identifying. Uh, what was your name again, sir? Okay, now you're not gonna identify? Okay, guys. So I just got done saying that I was gonna give this guy a, 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 a praise and then <laughs> for identifying, asked him to identify one more time and now he's refusing to identify. Sir? I hope you have a really great day, right? So we're gonna go ahead and add this guy to the plan. I'll have to go over the footage and see what your name was. I'll add you to the complaint as well. I'm trying to give unlawful orders. Totally we don't have to wear a mask in here. We proved that. Um, so I'm totally okay we'll with identify. Any, I'm totally okay with any complaint that you have to raise against me. I know I'm doing my job. So just doing my job. The way I see it is that they have a duty to follow and uphold the Constitution of the United States of America. Just doing my job is not just doing what you're told by your superiors. First priority is our rights. Just doing my job turns into horrible, evil things in this world. These security guards seemed completely confused to me. I mean, if you have no clue on the law in the matter, how the hell can you give me orders in the matter? What do you guys think? Are these guys just completely confused or just wanted to enforce unlawful orders because they're just doing their job? Let me know down in the comments. Please share, like, and subscribe. I would truly appreciate it. Peace.